good morning students in this video we will discuss about the one numerical example for deleting the elements in the b pastry in the earlier video we have discussed about all the steps involved in the deletion of elements in the b pastry i request you to go through that video and come back to this video for better understanding okay so they have given order is equal to 3 order is equal to 3 means the internal node order is equal to 3 and the leaf node also have the order 3 okay so if the mean order is 3 then the root will always consist of 1 to p minus keys okay where p is the order okay now the non leaf nodes the minimum number of keys is p by 2 minus 1 where p by 2 c minus 1 so 3 by 2 c is nothing but 2 2 minus 1 is 1 so root node should have minimum one element and internal node leaf nodes also should consist of one element if the number of elements in the node is less than one then we will call it as an underflow condition so whenever there is an underflow we will have already discussed in the earlier video what we have to do so in this video i will discuss with an example okay so now first thing is that I want to I want to delete these elements in a sequence. First I want to delete 45, then I will delete 49, 50, 20 and 10. So first whenever we are deleting the elements from the B plus tree, we should be very careful. Why it is that some elements, suppose let's take that 45. 45 is there in the leaf node and also it is there in the root node. Okay. Is it clear? Similarly, if you take 49 is there in the leaf node and also it is there in the internal node. So, then you can ask me, sir, 45 is there here and also here. Then, if you are asking me to delete 45, which element I should delete? Whether it is the element which is there in the leaf node I should delete or I should start from the root. Remember the point, always you should start deleting from the leaf node. Okay, then first you delete this one, then you delete it. Okay, so let me explain. So first where the 45 is there, 45 is there here, okay, in the leaf nodes. Now if I want to delete 45, it will become an underflow condition because already one element is there, the minimum number of elements is only one. If I delete this element, it will become consists of zero number of elements, okay. Then we have this already discussed that either we should borrow from the left sibling or we should borrow from the right sibling if you consider this node it does not have any left sibling so we should borrow from the right sibling can we borrow from the right sibling or not we need to check okay the right sibling consists of two elements the minimum number of elements it should have only one so it is having more than the minimum number of elements then it can give me element to the its left sibling so let me write only this part i have 49 if i delete 45 it will be empty and then i have 49 and 50 so i want to borrow this node want to borrow from its right sibling so what is the element it can borrow it can borrow only the smallest element from its sibling okay so here you have 49 and 50 the smallest element is 49 so it will borrow the 49 if it is borrowing first this 49 will go here and this 49 will come here so it will looks like 49 49 as it has given one of its element it will have only one element which is 50 okay so now if you see that whether it is following the b plus 3 property what is the b plus 3 property if this is 49 the element should be less than 49 should be there in the left sibling okay in the right sibling sorry in the right subtree the element should be greater than 49 greater than or equal to 49 should be there in the right subtree in the left subtree the elements which are less than 49 should be there whether it is satisfied no because 14 this one is equal to 49 so it is not following the b plus tree then what should I do if I replace with 50 at the parent node? If I do it, 50, 49 and 50 is there. Okay, instead of 49 here, if I keep 50, then it is satisfied. 49 is less than 50, it is good. 50 is equal to 50, 
okay so it is following the b plus b properties so in place of this entire one i have to keep this b plus b so let me draw that one you have 45 20 50 49 50 and then you have 10 20 is it clear so 145 we have deleted we should delete the 45 which is there in the root node okay now see it what is this one we have discussed the step 6 in the previous video you check it what is that one whenever we want to delete an element which is there in the non-leaf node then we should replace it with the in order successor what is meant by in order successor you need to go to the right subtree okay then find the smallest element from the right subtree and replace it what is the this, this is the right subtree the smallest element is 49 so you need to replace 49 with 45 so after replacing it you will have this one is it clear so we have successfully deleted the 45 now i want to delete 49 okay let me erase this one so after deleting 45 you got this b plus b now i want to delete 49 where is the 49 is there 49 is there here and also it is there in the root node so which one first we have to delete we need to delete this 49 okay now whenever we are trying to delete this 49 it is in underflow condition because if i delete this 49 it will become zero elements then it is an underflow because the minimum number of elements it should have is one okay so we have to in the next step is whenever there is an underflow then we either we have to try to borrow from the left sibling or right sibling now see it does not have left sibling so it cannot borrow from the left sibling now come to the right sibling right sibling also have minimum number of elements if it is having more than the minimum number of elements then only it can give one element to the its sibling with that uh, that scenario we have discussed while deleting the 45 now this is not possible because it is already having the minimum number of elements it cannot borrow so if you see the step 3 in the previous algorithm we have said that when we are not able to borrow from the left or right sibling we have to merge the left sibling or with the right sibling and the corresponding entry should be deleted from the parent node okay so here what i have to do i have to merge the 49 and 50 that is the one step and the step 4 says that the corresponding entry from the parent node also should be deleted then how it will looks like you have 49 you have 20 as we have deleted the corresponding entry 50 we have deleted from the parent node it will be empty okay then you have 10 and 20 to this one we will have 50 is it clear because 49 and 50 will be there and we have because after merging it will be 49 and 50 okay and we need to delete 49 we have deleted now why i am keeping like this i don't know 50 where it will come whether it will come to the left of it or it will come right of this one okay so that's why i am keeping like this now if you see that now it becomes an underflow condition because it is having less than the minimum number of elements then what it has to do it will try to borrow from the left sibling it does not have a right sibling so obviously it has to depend on its left sibling whether left sibling can give one element to this one no because it is already having the minimum number of elements okay then what should we do if we cannot borrow from the left or right sibling then we have to merge the node with the, either the left sibling or the right sibling so in this scenario we will try to merge with the left sibling if i merge with the left sibling then how it will looks like is you have 20 49 okay you will have 10 20 and 50 is it clear because we have merged these two 20 49 is there okay the height of the b plus 3 was reduced okay now 
149 we have deleted down there is another 49 which is there at the root node we should delete it now 49 is there in the non leaf node whenever we are trying to delete an element from the non leaf node what we have to do we have to replace it with the in order successor in order successor means smallest element from the right subtree the smallest element which is there in the right subtree is 50 so we need to replace it with the 50 so after deleting 49 we will have this b plus tree okay i hope you are understanding all the concepts properly if you have any doubts you feel free to ask in the comment section okay so now i want to delete element 50 the element 50 is there in the leaf node and also at the root node so first i will delete it from the leaf node so whenever i am deleting it from the leaf node it will go for the underflow then we have to borrow it from the left sibling the left sibling cannot able to give the element because it already have the minimum number of elements so if it is not possible means if we cannot borrow from the left sibling or the right sibling then what is the next step we will do we will merge this node with the left sibling or right sibling in this scenario we don't have any right sibling so we will merge with the left sibling okay now if i merge with the left sibling then how it will looks and the corresponding entry from the parent node also should be deleted so the 50 should be deleted from the parent node then how it will looks you will have 10 here okay these to be merged if i merge then it will be like 10, 20 and 50 okay because the corresponding entry this 50 should be deleted because only 20 and 50 and this one should be deleted if it does not delete it will be looks like 20 50 and 50 which is a repetition so we will delete this 50 now 150 means while merging this one was deleted in this process it was deleted not like it, my intention is not that first i need to delete this one okay now i have to delete 50 so i have deleted okay so meaning is that indirectly i am deleting this one and this one so after deleting 50 the b plus tree looks like this 20 10 20 is it clear now i want to delete the 10 okay if i want to delete the 10 it will have less than the minimum number of elements okay because if i delete 10 it will become zero okay zero number of elements so then what we should do either we have to borrow from the left sibling left sibling is not there we will try to borrow from the right sibling right sibling already have the minimum number of elements so it cannot give so then what is the next step we have to do we have to merge the element with the right sibling because it does not have left sibling so we will merge this node with the left sibling and the corresponding entry from the parent node should be deleted then it will looks like 10 and 20 and we sorry we are sorry sorry we are trying to delete the 20 okay when we are delete, trying to delete the 20 the 20 is there in the parent node and also in the leaf node it is there in the parent node and also it is there in the leaf node so as it is there in the leaf node first we have to try to borrow it from the left sibling it is not possible so we will merge the 10 and 20 and the corresponding entry should be deleted from the parent node so then it will looks like 20 and 10 and 20 and 20 you need to delete it will looks like this so the height of the b plus 3 is further reduced so next i want to delete 10 okay only one element is there so we have to delete it okay is it clear so the, now the b plus 3 became empty you should not think about what is the well, underflow all these things because only one element is there if you delete that one also it will become the empty b plus 3 okay i hope you have understood how i deleted all the five elements from the given b plus 3 okay thank you so much